I've been very lucky in my career. I've been paid to learn. When I teach cross-culture to Westerners, I, of course, learn about what Westerners think about Chinese. When I teach Chinese, I, of course, learn about what Chinese think about Westerners. And so the more I teach, the more I learn. The more I learn, the better services I can provide. As I say, I've been very lucky in my career. Well, over the years, I've taught over a thousand Westerners and over a thousand Chinese in small classes, and that each class I ask, well, what problems do you have with Chinese Westerners? And so I've heard a lot of problems. Well, over the years, I've been collecting them and I've put them into a list, the list of the most common uh, complaints. I'm not adding things that one person said to me in a bar one day or something. These are complaints that are very common. And when I read the list to a Chinese audience, to a Western audience, I get nods of, yeah, 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 that's what we think. Yeah, those are the problems. And so now, my objective here is not to criticize Chinese. Um, my objective here is to let you know what problems exist. When you're doing problem solving, really the first goal is to know that the problem exists. Because how do you solve a problem that you don't know exists? And so here are four common things that Westerners say about Chinese. They say, Chinese don't tell me enough, especially mistakes or bad news. Now, we're going to be looking at mistakes in another part of this little video, and so I won't deal with that right now, but this is maybe the most common. Second, they don't tell me when they don't understand something. Ay, yo. Um, you talk to a Chinese group and you go, okay, are there any questions? Do you understand? And they smile. Um, Westerners who don't know the Chinese think, oh, good, um, the Chinese all understand, because in the West, silence means agreement. And we look at that in another area as well. Um, third, Chinese don't ask enough questions. You see a theme here? Finally, Chinese don't say yes or no. They tell me a story. And from that story, I have to guess yes or no. And that we look at yes and no uh, briefly in this video as well. So that's what Westerners say about Chinese. They say more, but I'm very sorry. You're going to have to come to the actual course to learn more. Now, what do Chinese say about Westerners and why is this important? Well, first, it's important because what happens is, is that you're by yourself and you are experiencing things and you don't realize that other people experience the same type of things that you do and that it really helps you to realize that you're not alone, that what you are feeling or thinking is not strange or different or wrong. It's what everybody tends to think. And that, that, in my opinion, makes it a lot more comfortable or easier to deal with. So I think I'm going to tell you all about what Chinese say. I'm not going to explain it much here, but that at least this will give you a leg up on solving problems. Okay, what do Chinese say about Westerners? Westerners don't tell me all I need to know. Westerners expect me to already know everything. And that I agree with Chinese. Westerners do. We make these assumptions about what everybody knows. And then um, we use those assumptions. And that th those assumptions are quite often, frequently, wrong. Um, Westerners are too interested in details. Westerners embarrass people in front of others. Now, I can say, I think, with all sincerity that Westerners do not try to embarrass Chinese. But 
the way we handle disagreement, the way we handle questions um, does embarrass Chinese and that it's something you have to learn how to deal with and that I think if you understand it properly, you won't be nearly as embarrassed. Westerners care about performance, not people. Westerners think contracts are more important than people. Westerners have too many work rules. Westerners are too emotional. And finally, and this will be a very big surprise to any Westerner, Chinese think Westerners are selfish. And the, the way Chinese look at that, I agree, Westerners are selfish. We're not selfish on purpose. I think Westerners tend to be very generous people. However, the way what Chinese are looking at and the messages Chinese receive, yeah, Westerners are selfish. So if these are the things that you are feeling, that you think about Westerners, remember, you're not alone. And that now that you know about these things, about what Westerners say about Chinese and about what Chinese say about Westerners, well, that is the first, the necessary first step to solving these problems, to learning how to live with them. So that's about it for here. Let's move on.